hey guys what's going on so in this video we'll be learning about git log although we have learned about git log in while we were covering about branches and commits but i think i think it's really great time to stress upon git log and and learn couple of its flags all right so let's get started so git log is used to view the recent commits or the entire commits history so if i type git log i'll be able to view all the commit histories from the current branch and you can see that i have the recent commit at the top and as i go below i can see all the other commits that happened previously cool so one thing to note is that git log comes with a commit id and then it has the credentials of author that is the username of the author and the email of the author then the date on which this commit was made and the commit message this pattern is repeated throughout this git log now let's learn about a couple of its flags that is really useful along while we are working with git log so let's come out of it by pressing q this q all right so let me clear the screen so one flag that we are going to learn is called the one line flag if i do git log dash dash one line you would notice that it has now printed me a chunked small minified version of the git log okay so one thing to note here is that let me go back again and let me type git log so one thing i told you before that this is what we call a commit id more importantly it's not a commit id it's called a sha hash so if you remember the commit lecture i have mentioned about the different objects and there i told that the contents are actually hashed and then committed right so this is a sha hash and when i do git log dash dash one line this is what i call as the commit id so either way both of them are useful because git keeps track of them equally and you can refer to a particular file or particular commit using both so here we have a shorter commit id and we have the commit message so i don't see any dates or any credential of the author who did it and it's really useful if you have lots and lots of commits being committed inside your working directory so let's come out by pressing q okay so another flag i would like to mention is something called as the graph so you do git log dash dash graph and graph actually gives you a representation how your commits looks like so all the way from start to the end it will show you the commits made so as you can see here the dash is representing the progress and the star is the commits so this is the latest commit as you can see here and the head is over the latest commit so as i go down you can see this is the next commit which is also followed by a star or asterisk and so on so where is this useful so this is useful to view how your entire commit looks like so let me come out and if let me actually create two to three branches and make some dummy commits so let me do git checkout dash p test git commit minus m in test branch cool now after that let me also do another commit say commit to in test branch let me commit this one to it commit dash am okay come out of the uh, test branch so i do git check out master let's create another graph it check out dash b test 2 and let's make some commits like uh, let's do some inside test 2 we'll go ahead and do some changes over here let me also type commit 2 and let me type commit 2 in test 2 okay now let us print out the graph so you can do git log dash dash graph okay at this point let me tell you that you can also add multiple flags so let me add one line also so that it's much compact and let me hit enter hmm well as you can see that this is not exactly printing the way it should the reason being that if you notice the latest commit that is here we are currently inside which branch test 2 branch so there is one more flag i need to tell you that in order to print the entire branch or commits to the entire branch what we can do is we can 
make use of dash dash all so let me come back by pressing q and let me type git log dash dash one line dash dash graph and it does not matter in which order you put the flags in so we put git log dash dash one line dash dash graph and dash dash all it will print out all the commits from different branches and it will show us in a very neat form so if if i press enter you will notice that at the beginning we did a sample commit and all the way up and the master branch got diversion to two branches which is the test two branch this one and the test branch so it is much more easier to visualize these using these flags so if you, if you simply have gone by doing git log we could not have experienced this okay so let's actually merge this test two branch with the master branch so let me come out and let me check which branch i am in so i am obviously in git test two branch first check out to the master branch and then merge this from test two all right now let's go ahead and print out the good looking log as i should say it log one line graph all now you can see that we are currently in the master branch and test two has been merged right so all right guys that's all for this video i hope you really understood about log and the different flags in fact three flags that we learned about log one line graph and all these flags are really useful and helpful uh, when we run across several conflicts or if you want to get to know about different branches and how they are actually spread out inside the entire commit history all right guys that's all for this video i know th i know this video was really short and i think this should be short because we only use log to just check out our commit histories and i just told you about a couple of flags that we can use along with log so that the log looks much more interesting all right guys see you in the next lecture